Hello. I've been making some simple little uh, shaker style camera doors in the uh, workshop today. All it takes is a bit of MDF, a router table and a grooving bit. Let's find out how. Now before we start getting into the nitty gritty, let's just have a quick chat about doors and how they're made and what they're called. So the longer side sections are called styles and the shorter top and bottom pieces are called rails and in the middle there's a panel. I'm using moisture resistant or MR MDF for this project and I've cut 80mm strips, that's a little over 3 and a quarter inches, out of a sheet of 22mm MDF, that's about 7 eighths of an inch, for the rails and styles of this door. The styles are simply cut to the height of the door and since we're going to be using loose tenons to join the rails and styles together, the length of the rails will be the width of the door less the width of the styles. If you've got the styles to hand, the rails are really easy to mark out and then cut to length. So with the rails and styles cut to length, we can run a pencil mark where we're going to run our groove. That's along the full length of the style and on all three sides of the rail. So, with the rails and styles marked up, we can head across to the router table to run the groove that takes the panel and the loose tenons. Now, although I'm using a 6mm thick panel, I'm using a quarter inch grooving bit as a slightly looser fit gives us a bit of wiggle room during the glue up. And I've set the bit to cut the groove not in the centre of the work, but slightly offset. I'm cutting an 18mm or 3 quarter inch deep groove along the full length of the styles on one edge and along three edges of the top and bottom rails. Now, my router's just slung under one of my benches, so I'm using a sled to support the workpiece when I'm grooving the short edge of the rails. The last thing we need to do is cut to size the centre panel for the door. That's the inside measurement of the rails and styles, plus the depth of the groove. And I generally cut this slightly smaller again, just to make life easier. We can also cut some 36mm or inch and a half wide loose tenons from the panel off cuts. So this is our door with a uh, just a dry fit, just to give you an idea of how it, uh, how it works. You can see the four loose tenons sticking out of the corners. If we peel this back a little bit, you can actually see how they're constructed. So, with all our components ready to go, rails, styles, panel and loose tenons, we can start the glue up, and I'm just using my regular 10 minute PVA or white glue for this. Take one of the styles and run a bead of glue into the groove, and slot in the panel. Do the same with the rails and be sure to spread the glue around, especially at the ends of the rails where they butt against the styles. I've sped the video up a bit here as it's pretty dull watching me spread glue, but I'm sure you get the idea. Repeat this with the other style and with plenty of glue on both sides of the loose tenons, push these home and brush away any squeeze out. So with everything glued up and the rails and styles sitting nicely flush with each other, we can lay the door down and do a final check for square, before clamping it up and putting it to one side. When the glue is dry, you can unclamp the door and scrape off any excess from the face of the joints on both sides. Then we can trim off the excess or horns of the loose tenons at the top and bottom of the door. And finally, our door gets a quick rub down where the rails and styles meet, just to tidy things up.
So there you go. It's our simple shaker style cabinet door, ready for a bit of paint, drilled for hinges and ready to hang. Thanks for watching.